audience uh, who want to uh, uh, make any discussion, I welcome you to go to the uh, OEG Connect so that you can discuss it later on the website. Yeah, and uh, I appreciate everybody can uh, attend this uh, session. Uh, our session will end here. And uh, uh, yeah, the next session will begin in 10 minutes later. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye, thank you very much. Checking your voice. Okay. Yeah, we'll begin on uh, the right time. Okay. So okay. there's two minutes. Okay, um, welcome back to our, our session. And uh, our next session uh, will present by uh, C. Wu. Uh, her title is a survey on the open access textbook for university teachers teaching and the university promotion in Taiwan. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll let you share your screen. Okay. Okay, we here. Is that right? Yeah. Can you okay. see that? Okay. Yeah. And okay. good morning. And good morning, everyone. Today, uh, my name is C. Lu, and today I like to talk to you about the uh, survey, uh, just a simple survey I did at the beginning of this year. The topic is a survey on OAT for university teachers teaching and universities promotion in Taiwan. Uh, we all familiar with OET or we said OER. OET is a, a hot topic in university nowadays. But in Taiwan, how the teachers and OET development thought, uh, thought about OET? Do they need OET to use or how do the teachers use OET? How do OET development agency should promote OET service? Today, I divide my survey into three things, namely, uh, why we need OET in Taiwan's university. Is OET a necessary topic for us? And for teachers, it's a new challenge for teachers to use OET as textbook in class what they need to prepare and how they use OAT. And for the OAT development agency, how to support teachers to familiar with OAT. First, why we need OAT? We all understand that most countries develop OAT because of the high cost of textbooks. However, in Taiwan, College students generally like to use second-hand textbooks that publishers or we said this 
factory builders in Taiwan need to lower the price to attract students to buy textbooks. Therefore, the textbooks in Taiwan, whether uh, whether we say in Chinese or in English, the influence is relatively small compared to other countries. But why we still need to uh, why we still OAT? Uh, Taiwan's university have also begun to develop digital teaching in recent years. With the with the addition of digital natives, university teachers need to change the traditional habit of using printed textbook to teach. The need of digital teaching such as uh, e-learning or MOOCs are also valued. Teachers try to improve students with more convenience and di diverse course content by e-learning or with MOOCs or other digital methods. However, textbooks is the part that is lacking in Taiwan's current search. Now, with the feature of open access, OAT allows students and teachers to use more textbooks without extra money, make it more convenient to use course and broadening innovative horizon. It doesn't like the traditional printed textbook just uh, writing what we know and just the details things. Point of view, the development of OAT is necessary for the current Taiwan University teaching environment. And next, we will understand the university teachers and the OA develops agency or we say organization in the university surveyed from this research to contribute to understand the future development strategy on OAT in Taiwan. For teachers, it's a new challenge for them to use OAT. When, when university teachers use OAT, they must first face that the adaption to new teaching methods. Uh, I, we know most of teachers are still accustomed to use traditional printed textbooks to teach in physical classroom. Therefore, when teachers are willing to try OAT teaching methods, they must adapt to the use of digital textbooks. And most of uh, most teachers say that in the content part, it is necessary to reselect the content that suit the course and student's learning habits so that the learning effect of the students can be maintained even the teaching's method is changed. Teacher interviews, oh, sorry, teacher interviews methods that the biggest cost of using OAT lies in the cost of time. OAT does not require extra money to buy it, but a large amount of OAT makes teachers spend more time to filter content. Uh, you say it is the biggest challenges for teachers. At the same time, uh, teachers should evaluate whether changes in teaching methods will affect students' learning effect. Even though we, we know digital natives is highly adaptable to digital resource, different teachers use OAT in different ways. And considering that the difference in subjects may also affect uh, different students have uh, different study habits. Whether to use OA completely or to comply OAT with the content of traditional printed textbooks, teacher needs to continue to work with students in order to fully utilize the benefits of OAT. How will teacher use OAT? In order to get used to OAT, 
most teachers will first focus on using OET as a supplementary, supplementary materials, just like they, uh, in the past, they don't have any experience to use digital methods to teach and use the multi multimedia resource from OET, just like we said, pictures or video or music, just what we can take from the traditional printed textbook. It, that is in, to increase the diversity of teaching materials in the course, also enhance students' interest in learning. And we, we say that in the university environment in Taiwan, students mostly pass, passively accept the contents of the course with the novel content provided by OAT. Students can have more think directions, increased opportunities for teachers and students to discuss different topics and make students more able to subscribe the contents of the course. This page lists the interview response from the survey. Compared with the previous content, we can see the teacher's experience and expectations for the use of OAT, just like uh, on the topic of adapt of the new teaching methods. Teachers said that they need to, they must digest the contents first and choose suitable content for us a textbook to teach, just like they need, even though they want to use digital methods to teach, but they need to uh, check the content, what they want first. And it's just cost a lot of time for them now. And how to use? Uh, most people say that the audiovisual method is the best things they found in OAT. Then is, they thought that is the very important part for using OAT because they are not appear in traditional textbooks. And one teacher said, OAT can let the students think through discussion which makes students feel more innovative in class because just like we saw some video and students is for just, they don't like read book and they like to see the video, watch the video and they were more innovative in class. Yes, let's find out how the OA Development Agency in Taiwan's universities think about OAT. First of all, we need to understand OA Development Agency in Taiwan's university. In Taiwan's university, the OA Development Agency is more Applicate with the Center of Teaching and Learning Development in University. This development is just help teacher to learn more teaching methods or let the teacher to know what, what they want just for teach that yeah, just like that. Uh, in other countries, most university libraries will help teachers obtain the required OIT, but in Taiwan, University library just uh, more focus on subscription resource. Uh, we don't have uh, only just a OA journey or OA book, uh, which is quite difficult. And OA development agency of most universities have only a few full time stops, so that they will not be able to have a comprehensive promotion strategy with when developing OAT. At the same time, Taiwan still focus on the de development of e-learning. The effects on digital teaching methods is still not high. It may make it difficult to promote OAT. Here's the consideration of OAT development by the OA Development Agency of 15 universities in the survey. What we can see here is cost consideration and the develop, devel, development priorities. The most important thing about cost consideration is the labor cost. 
which is consistent with the human shortage problem methods earlier. And it is measured in the link of development priorities. OIT, OIT development agency will consider a complete concept of international authorities. And even though teachers need to take a part in activities, it's also they want to, uh, to develop. It. And in order to more easier obtain the manpower and fund from the development to OIT. The OIT development agency's view points for OIT is as follows. First, um, we say, although they are agree with importance of OIT for university teaching, but still no complete strat strategic planning because they uh, the human shortage problem or they don't have enough fund to do this. Although they have just have more work to do. That's true. They don't have time to prepare a complete strategic planning for developing OIT. And for the most teachers, they don't, uh, we, we know they just not love OAT because they don't know OAT is what. <laughs> just they don't know OAT. This will affect the effectiveness of OAT promotion. But for OAT development agency, they still hope to use the features of OAT to reduce the cost of textbooks and increase the diversity of teaching materials. Finally, I summarize the options of university teachers and OA development agency on the development of OAT in the survey and purpose the future development of OAT in Taiwan. First, we should to improve the presentation rate of OAT. Just like what I said earlier, is teacher is just not, they does not unlike OAT. They don't know what is OAT. And then the features of OAT attract more teachers to use. And second one, we should establish the platform for OAT resource and OA use feedback in order to reduce the time for teachers to come. OAT. Teachers can quickly confirm whether the content of OAT met the needs of the course. And I think the most important thing is to ensure the sustainability of OAT development strategy. OAT development agency can address its own promotion strategy based on the development status of other agencies and share experience with each other so that, so that OAT can smoothly support the use of teachers in future. Oh, thank you. And this is my email. If you have any question, you can ask me from here. Thank you. OK. Thank you, Xi. Uh, yeah, from the audience, uh, they are asking uh, what kind of uh, textbook or yeah, repositories uh, that uh, we are using here in Taiwan. Okay, okay. Do you have reference of the repository the textbook? What textbook? Uh, say what textbooks or your response? Repository to teacher and progress as team by one. Uh, they just, uh, just they only uh, a professor just go to the OA online to to get what they want. Just uh, now in Taiwan's university, they don't have a corner to just uh, to give teachers. Uh, about OAT's information is what well, I I think because OAT is just begun to develop in Taiwan now. Just we don't have a big
big side to compare with it. Yes. Yeah, I can I can uh, address a little bit more about up uh, on that because uh, uh, open textbook Sorry. is a very new idea in Taiwan. Yes. We, yes. we introduced to university very late actually. Okay. The most of the uh, open textbook site is uh, from the United States and or Canada. Yeah, oh, we yes. use the same uh, database that we share to our uh, professors in university. So uh, yeah, uh, we don't have a local uh, open textbook uh, repository yet. So <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yes. that, that's the Just, work. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's also. I um, hope in future they will have a just OAT website just for Taiwan's teacher, and we can to uh, just local, and we have more what we want. Yeah, in the future. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the OER repository, we do have several OER repository that's uh, spread into a different. System. Yeah, it's just the begun, and we can to, uh, give some, some extra uh yes, yeah, so, so, the, experience or is some expectations for those teacher they don't know OAT now. <laughs> Yeah, well, we begin to know uh, what uh, open access journal right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. We, uh, we are not, we lack of a lot of knowledge to the open textbook. <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> just, just more, just a little, yeah. Yeah, a lot of professors like to write their uh, own work. Or oh, yes, yes, work. yes. However, it can be open textbook someday. Yeah, so oh, yes, yes. Uh, we hope that we probably will have those kind of repositories someday. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> this what I surveys something is just like that. And more, uh, a lot of pro like, uh, professional is just surprised that, oh, textbook can be OA and they're free. And this content is well and just while well, I say just they don't know OAT is what, and we need to more to improve the OAT development uh, in future, I think. Okay, thank you very much.